All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to update the firmware on this to make this work with CarPlay. Uh, right now, depending on what firmware you have, uh, you may or may not be able to uh, use your CarPlay through the front port, but uh, with the newest firmware, you can. So as you can see, I've modified my uh, plug here to fit it and my CarPlay works great. Um, so I'm gonna just go into setup and system and then system information. And this is where you check your firmware version. See, I have 703 and the firmware I have here is 704. So I'm just gonna slide this into the SD card slot. I left a link in the description for the files that are on this. Um, and there are instructions on how to do all this, but basically got that dude in there. I see what firmware I'm on. I'm just gonna go back to the home screen and then I gotta kill the engine let the stereo shut down. It has shut off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it back on. And we'll just fire it up. And as you can see, updating, don't power off. It says uh, it could take up to two and a half minutes for this. Oh, looks like it has finished already. I think we're all good, so I'm gonna shut the truck off. Turn it off. Uh, go ahead and pull the SD card. Otherwise, it will keep trying to update. Kick it back on. And it used to say RAM, so I know it has uh, at least done something. So I'm just gonna go in here to set up and verify that the firmware is the latest. It is 704. So now I'm gonna show you how to switch that to where you can use your um, CarPlay through this port right here. This is the screen that I get when I plug into here. But if I pull it and I plug into this, my CarPlay hooked up and I'm running through the rear. Now we're going to, um, you have to have the volume up slightly so you can at least hear the beeps. We're gonna go back to the home and you're supposed to unplug during this process. You're not supposed to have anything plugged in. And I'm just gonna hit this and hold it you'll hear a beep. Okay, so there's the beep. I'm gonna let her shut down, fire it back up, and then I'm gonna plug this into the front. So now we have CarPlay working from the front input. So the important piece is this can't be plugged in when you do the switch. It has to be on firmware version 7.0.4, which you'll find right there. If you're not 7.0.4, then you need to download the uh, firmware in the description and load it onto an SD card and stick it in here, shut your car off, turn it back on, it'll update and then do the fancy little button push, which I will go ahead and do again so you can see and switch it back to my lower, oops. Uh, I'll switch it back to my lower port. And there was the beep. So if I shut the car off, turned it back on uh, and plugged in down here, CarPlay would work. Um, so, that is how you get your front port to uh, work with CarPlay. It will not work when you get it from the factory uh, with the front port here. You have to do these steps in order to get it um, to work from the front port, at least until they start shipping these with this, um, with this firmware version uh, 7.0.4. So I hope that helps everybody. And yeah, good luck.